Run, okay? No fire, clean fire. All right, good luck. Pretty much all of the lighter divisions, Tim. This really, this fight against DML Diocos is really one of those just get back fights. Yeah, that's all it is. Tuna fight, you know. Uh, get his get his confidence back. Um, I think honestly, I think he's, I think he's gonna get a knockout in this, in this, in this fight. He should get a knockout. Fighting a guy with a little experience. Ooh, just that little feint right there tells me everything I need to know. I mean, he is a, a world class fighter and arguably a, a future Hall of Famer. I, I think most people would argue that he is a shoe in considering the amount of experience and his just sheer dominance over the lower weight classes. Chocolatito has been in 17 world title fights, 15 and two with nine knockouts. His overall record of 47 and two with 39 knockouts is pretty impressive to say the least. His opponent in the ring, Diocos, 14, five and three with four knockouts. I look at the four knockouts. Not a heavy, not a heavy puncher at all, Christina. I look at the five losses already in his career. Only once has he been stopped, though. Those have four of those five losses have come from distance fights. Only hit the canvas. Actually, has not hit the canvas as a professional at all. As he looks to get off some punches here in round one against Gonzalez, none of them uh, of much impact, though. A lot of pitter patter on the the arms and gloves there, Tim. Yeah, a lot of pitter patter, but. That's not what I'm looking at. Oh, I'm and just, there's Chocolatito to the body. I'm looking at I'm looking at the fundamentals of Chocolatito or Gonzalez. You know, he's he's just walking straight in. He doesn't feel threatened by the punches, but he needs to come behind his jab. He needs to set things up the right way. That's what I'm looking at. Chocolatito with the left hand to the body there. Really, he wants to give give a run at another world title shot. Having come off those losses to Sorong Visay and dealing with the injury that he did, his right meniscus that had him out of the ring for quite some time. He did have one fight back, um, and, and but not anything of the caliber. He fought Moises Fuentes back in September of 2018, but he really wants to get back to world title mm. contention. Look at that work rate is still there, Beautiful. Christina. And he's varying it to the head and also to the body. Yoko's doing his best to stay busy here in round one, but you can just see the, the, the sharpness and the levels. A good right hand to the body to finish this round, but Chocolatito, a little sharper. A little sharper. Body punches were very effective that round. We know you like body punches. Yes. <laughs> But that's going to bring the hands down. That's going to bring the defense down of your opponent. And it's also going to wear them down, Christina. And then allows you to land shots like this when you dig down to the body. See how he leans over? Hoping he would have threw an uppercut after that. Beautiful body shot right there. Yokos took that shot pretty well. Like I said, he has never been knocked down as a professional. Showed a little bit of toughness there, but actually looks to be somewhat dejected there in the corner already <laughs> after round one. He's all right. He'll be all right, at least for another round or so. <laughs> Guessing that's round two. In Japanese, here we go. The principals in the ring: Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez and DML Diocos. Diocos with about six pawing jabs there, trying to keep Gonzalez at bay. Yeah, when you find he gets a, a, a high volume puncher like a Gonzalez, you gotta have a stiff, sharp jab. You know, you just can't have a pawing jab or a flicking jab. You gotta, you gotta get his attention. Oh, and uh, 
Chocolatito got his attention right there with the combination as Diokos tries to come back with the body combination of his own, finishing up top with the left hand and then an overhand right. And back to the body goes Chocolatito. Diokos got some fast hands, but no pop behind his yeah, punches. Yeah, just slapping some of those to punches. Stop Gonzalez. Keep him off of him. He's almost just slapping. He's not really getting those hands turned over there. As again, a left hook to the body lands and Yokos gets his right back. It's so discouraging when you hit a guy eight times like that and he doesn't, he bag doesn't up even off move. Of you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so discouraging. He's just standing right there in his face. And again, down to the body, then mm. back up top. Strong right hand from Chocolatito. They're now letting leather by big right hand from Chocolatito. And Diocos is hurt right now as he unleashes the body attack, then back up top. Again, left hook to the body. Oh, Love big that. right hand. My Seven. goodness. They're considering that a knockdown as he is being held up by the ropes. And for now, Diocos would like to continue. Oh, Even if his face doesn't say so. Listen to me. This is the time when you're in the, in the corner and you, you see your man taking that much punishment. Oh, my goodness. You throw in a towel and save your man. Relentless attack from Chocolatito. You have to save your fighter. Right hand, left to the body, back up top. You name it, he's throwing it right now, and that's enough. Good job, bro. That's enough. Referee stops in and calls a halt to this fight after a barrage of punches from Chocolatito Gonzalez. Giocos did the best he can for a round and a half. Almost two rounds, but he was outclassed as Chocolatito gives his respects to the audience there in Japan. They love him as a fighter. He's often featured on this year in show in Japan. Has trained there for years. Good, that's a good performance, Gonzalez. Yeah, and, it w and it was what it was supposed to be, a get-back yes. performance from him. He did what he was supposed to do. Yes. And um, hopefully he'll earn himself a, a, in 2020 a, another shot at a world title. If anybody deserves it, it's him. Much to the crowd's delight, congratulations on win number 48 in his 50th professional fight for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Still to come, two world title fights, 12 rounds of action in the IBF flyweight division between Marudi Mthalani taking on Akira Yagashi and what she